sorry, no makeup tonight, but as you can see, the dark circles that medicine or well, that skincare is starting to really help. And it's pumping up my eyes. So I'm definitely going to have to get some more of that. I do have a boxy charm that's coming, which I did cancel that several times to kind of get straight and see where we're at and everything. But glad it's coming to tell you the truth. So I'm hoping they have some more of that product. Um, he's getting a little more over time, but um, not as max as he's usually getting. So hopefully that will start soon so I can get my subscription started back or start on back myself. Um, been sitting here. I need to research and see if there are any other facilities that I can check myself into um, that are around that I feel more comfortable with. The one here sticks everybody, no matter what your diagnosis is, with everybody. And it's scary, and I don't like sharing a room with somebody. That could be schizophrenic, homicidal, you never know who they're going to stick you in the room with. But they don't stick you in the room with the people that are suffering for what you're suffering for. I don't think with my depression and everything, I need to be stuck with schizophrenic and drug addicts and stuck in a group session with people who have tons of different other problems that do not go with my problem. So I'm thinking about kind of researching and seeing if there's any other facilities in nearby area that would take me in. Really don't want to go. I'm really contemplating the outpatient program. I don't like a program that offers games. Games is not what's going to help me. I need intensive work. And games are just stupid to me. I don't like playing games anyway. And when I feel like this, the last damn thing I want to do is play a trivia game or some stupid game someone's come up with. Or a stupid movie. Could care less. So that doesn't help me. I need extensive, deep treatment. Um... <sighs> Natalie really wants her to go. I think Sean's okay with me going. He would probably stay with Natalie. Um, I don't know where Jeff would stay. He might stay here, but don't really care. Um, he started new medications today for his diabetes, which are really expensive. He has crappy insurance, apparently, or he doesn't know how to use it. One of the two. Um, I think I did finally get my chicken and rice recipe, um, posted, but you need to look at the link, the, um, description box, because I had to make some changes, because at first when it came out of the oven, it wasn't done, needed more water, needed more time to cook. Which was a first. So I'm not really sure why that happened. But I did. And I added some more seasonings during that time. Because the taste wasn't quite right. So I did add onion flakes. And some more water. Something else I added. Some garlic powder. It needed some more garlic. I added garlic. But it needed the powder. Um... I did a pretty good job on deep cleaning some of the kitchen after I woke up, after Jeff woke me up when he went to work. I'd probably still be sleeping if it hadn't been for that. But, um, I did a lot of cleaning. Need more to do, but, uh, hopefully I'll get some rest and be able to get up in the morning to do it. I don't like sleeping in here with him but hopefully I'll be up when he gets in. I don't know if he is um going to be working over tonight. I mean overtime this week or not. But I know his daughter is supposed to be here I think Sunday. I did change the reservations for Disney 
for me, Sean, Natalie, Emerson, and Luke. I think I'll enjoy it better. I told Natalie I wanted after that to make um, the next reservation for just me and her and maybe my cousin that's moving in to go to um, Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. I think I would really enjoy that and really enjoy getting away. And I'm um, thinking about maybe taking a cruise here soon. So, <sighs> Natalie said that mom wouldn't want me like this. I finally did drive my car tonight, which was a big first because I don't know when's the last time I drove it. I know I did have about two wrecks and almost tons of others, so I haven't been driving, but I felt really good enough to drive. And it's only a couple blocks away, but I, I felt really focused and able to drive, so that was a good thing. Um... I'm going to try to talk Jeff into going and get me some fudge from the Pecan Shed, which is a local um, shop here. They have a lot of Texas items, but they also have the main one in Henrietta, Texas, which I love, love, love their fudge. And during Mother's Day and stuff like that, that time of year, they have chocolate-covered strawberries using that fudge. And it is the very best fudge you could ever, ever eat. Better than my homemade fudge, and I make a really good homemade fudge. Um, Natalie and I have decided this um, holiday season that we're going to make tamales and, of course, our normal cookies and maybe mom's brown candy if we can figure it out. I helped her with it a couple of times, but want to try it because it's a family tradition it has been for decades my grandmother used to make it and it is the best candy we call it grandma's brown candy but if you look it up it's also i think called uncle bill's candy but i absolutely adore that candy and it brings back so many memories and everything so that's what we're gonna make and we'll probably make some divinity and um, we have quite a few good cookie recipes that we made a couple of years ago last year of course we didn't do it because of mom and everything so that's kind of what we're looking forward to I'm kind of I've been having a really good day today even though I've slept I haven't been grinding my teeth like I have been for months. So that is good. And my teeth are really wear down because I, I'm a tooth grinder. And when I'm anxious or stressed, I grind teeth. So, um, Sean is in there watching TV. Been very anxious. Uh, I think I'm going to take him to the doctor tomorrow because he's been having some issues for about a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. Um, so I think we're going to go to the clinic tomorrow and have him checked out. I don't know if maybe he's having some kidney stones or something. And I know my head is a mess and I'm in pajama top, but sorry. Real life as it gets here because we're really real. I tell you what's up and how I feel and... As you know, um, relationship-wise, things aren't true to form. And missing one a lot. A friend of his came by, or a, friend, a mutual friend came by, I guess a little over a week ago, and talked to me. And um, miss him. I really miss him. And I don't know if we'll ever be back together, but I know how I feel. And I know how he really feels. But things happen and things kind of got out of control. And I just, I don't know what to do. So if y'all have any comments on that, I would really appreciate it. Really don't know what to do. Heart is breaking over it. 
heart is breaking over my mom. It's kind of like I lost two people that I really loved at one time, which is making it even harder. And, um, I don't know what to do. Um, they still have my chairs out there. One is fixed. One is not. And I'm really going to get on to him this weekend. I know he's off Sunday. He said he'll probably work Monday. But his daughter's supposed to be here here Sunday. So I'm really going to try to push them to go get my freaking rocking chairs for outside fixed. And work on the front porch. Because they've got stuff. I don't know what I saw on that porch. I know the box to the chairs out there. The chairs are kind of scattered out there. And I want everything fixed. So, I'm going to really push them to do that. The lawn needs mowed. He left an electric lawnmower outside in the rain. So, I hope it works. I hope he hasn't ruined it. And I think it was his father's. So, there's no telling. And if you can tell, probably not well. Because it's kind of dark in here. All I have is the hallway light on. But I did color my hair red again it was starting to turn really brown which is kind of my color but it's kind of a brownish red when it's not colored so i am 50 percent great britain quarter german and a quarter irish so i'm assuming where the irish came from but my um grandpa which would be 121 21 this year he was born in 1900. His hair was red. He was called red. So kind of um, scattered through the family. We have redheads, which comes from him. Uh, I know this is a long drawn out video, but I'm just telling y'all kind of how things have been. Um, I do have problems sometimes feeling like I hear mom shuffle down um, the hall. Cause if you know, she had a stroke a few years ago. And she kind of scooted some. So that may have been what affected her as the scooting. And she would come around my corner and talk to me. And I like hear her. So that's been kind of rough. But it hasn't happened here for, um, I don't know, a while. A couple weeks, maybe. Um, at first, I had a hard time going in her. Well, I had an easy time going in there in her room. Because I felt comfortable. But Sean has it a mess right now. And I have it a hard time going in there. So I try to stay in here. Um, if I didn't tell you. I moved the. Um, where she had a coffee bar set up. I moved it out in the middle of the kitchen. To make like a. Um, island. And I want to put. The bar that I have. Up against that one wall. Where that was. So, you know, if they want to eat in there, snack in there, they can. Um, I need to get some paint. I really need to restart painting the house because it really needs it. Right now, it's a caramel tone, which was nice at the time. But it really needs, it needs like a, kind of a gray color. And I'm wanting to paint the doors to the rooms and everything black i saw on pinterest or someone had done that and it looked gorgeous so i want to do that i want to get jeff out there to power wash the house so we can start painting on it bits by bits might do the sides and the front and then worry about the back later um natalie is wanting us to get water park passes because we do have a um water park here um, we're planning our Disney trip with, the, you know, just me, Natalie, and the three boys. And we're going to stay at Beach um, Club Resort, which is considered a deluxe resort. So we've been watching YouTube channels on that just to get an idea. At the resort, but they have the best um, water um, pool and lazy river and slides on the park. Sean wanted to go to um, the water parks. But I tell you, I said, you know, we can book another trip. We'll just go into the water parks. So, we'll see. And Natalie and I want to go to the Wine and Food Festival at Epcot. Um, 
after that. So I'll try to go about every two years. Since we're in Texas, it's not feasible to go every year like I would love to. I love Disney, love the parks. Um, we were talking about um, places to eat for sure. And hopefully by next year, everything will be open because I sure want my grandkids to see the magic of the fireworks, the shows, everything. But um, I was thinking about places to eat. If y'all have any other ideas, please put the comments on what y'all would eat. But first of all, Magic Kingdom. Um, Liberty Tree Tavern is one of my top go-tos. Love that place. As for a fast service restaurant, Casey's Corner. Love Casey's Corner. Um, where else did I want to go? There was another place, Liberty Tree Caverns. I mean, Taverns. Um, Casey's Corner. Have to definitely get a Dole Whip, some pretzels, some popcorn. So, got some snacks that I want to get. Um, there is another place. At Magic Kingdom I want to go to and I can't think of it right now Animal Kingdom of course Flame Tree Barbecue for one I love that place love it love it love it and I think Natalie and I can share um, because I can't eat that much anyway but I'm really hoping the dining plan is back Ohana's I'm really hoping it's open because I absolutely Love Ohana's breakfast and dinner. Love it. Love Lilo and Stitch for breakfast. Love them. But I'm wanting to go to Storybook Time. I think so. It's called. I think there's another name on it. But Storybook Time was Snow White because I absolutely love Snow White. I know the boys are wanting to go to see um, boy characters or different things. So, I have to figure that out. One place I absolutely despise is Crystal Palace. Poor food. Only thing good about it is seeing the Winnie the Pooh characters and everything we put once. Um, I also love, and I can't remember if it's in Hollywood Studios or Magic Kingdom, is... Um, 50s prime time really good um different places i want to try um is it earl of sandwiches sandwich of earl in disney springs i love that place but i'd like to try a few other places in disney springs so if you'll have any um um uh, recommendations there would love them uh what else do I want to do? I want to go to Beaches and Cream, which is at um, Beach Resort Club. So, I want to go there and try the kitchen sink. I think with all of us, with five of us, there should be plenty. I won't be able to eat a whole bunch, but love it. Disney food experience is just as much as part of the park experience. Love it. So, those are a few of the places. I may lay here if I don't go back to sleep and look at the dining places to see about booking. And um, we're going to have one at least pool day and everything. So, I think everybody will enjoy that. Go to the pool. Go over to the boardwalk because we'll be close to the boardwalk. Try some things there. Um... And then we'll have access to the skyline, buses, and the boats. And we're walking distance to two parks. So I think it'll be spectacular. Love that place. And then we'll see about booking for um, the Food and Wine Festival for me and my daughter. I think we'd enjoy that. So, I'm hoping everybody's having a good night. I think I did get my um, chicken and rice recipe uh, posted finally. But if not, I'll keep trying. Because for some reason, it takes a while for my iPhone to um, 
I'll let it upload. It will say nothing's there. And then finally, it transfers over. So, and my pillows are all sticking up. My hair's in a ponytail. Um, no makeup on. Just the real me. And um, I'm trying to think. I don't know what I want to cook for. I got a lot of casserole left. Because Sean, for some reason, will not eat casserole. So, we'll be sending that with Jeff for the weekend. I'll let my daughter do some shopping in my kitchen and freezers yesterday because I just had so much and I want to refresh and restart. And my son's been in there a while because of grandma and she always wanted things out to eat. So I definitely went and got her those and um, really missing her. Uh, the 25th was three month anniversary and if anybody in the north central Texas area if you are watching and you know of any facility that does not mix different di you know people with diagnosis together I need to know because if I decide to go inpatient I really need to know that I'm not going to be mixed with schizophrenias and everything. I need to know that it's people with depression who are suffering and need help getting back to normal. I really need that. Like I said, my daughter said my mom wouldn't want this. And I feel... Like I said, I finally did get out of the house and drove up to the store and got a few drinks. And I had been craving Sour Patch, Sour Patch watermelon candies. And Sean got me a pack of those. So, that was nice. Be. I'm out of cheddar cheese. I kind of went like a um, part of a grilled cheese sandwich but I don't have any but I have been cleaning out the freezer I've been trying to get everything cleaned out I need a new refrigerator freezer or a um, stand up freezer I have a deep freezer but I don't care for it and I know there's stuff down there that needs to be seen and I'm thinking about um, going to Sam's here in the next couple of weeks buying a turkey um Maybe a prime rib and some pork loin and cutting it up into meals and maybe some chops. And, of course, their hamburger meat. Some different things. Some cases of veggies. I only eat the Lasur peas, which are the best peas. I do buy, like, a Walmart brand or something if I'm making a chicken pot pie recipe. Um kind of my go-to's and some different things. May go to Sam's. Uh, may drop down to Trader, Trader Joe's for some things. Or, um, love Trader Joe's, but there's not one here. There isn't all these here. I may go by there, look around, see what they have. If they have anything interesting that I may need. Um, Hopefully, I'm being able to dry better. I didn't shake. I didn't get nervous. I felt really good. It was nice outside. It's kind of muggy. Clouds were um, out a little, but you could still see a full moon. I think it was full. And it was really nice outside, which is the first time I have been out, and I don't know when. I did tell my daughter, you know, I'd taken like 20 Tylenol PM the other day. And I've taken a few Xanax, but I've spread them out. And it's mainly been when I'm awake and feel like I need to go to sleep and everything. And I don't know if I told you, but Sirius was in the bed with me the other night. And Jeff came in here to get in bed, which I don't like. I typically go in there if he comes in here. And Sirius had been in bed with me all night. And he took up that half 
of the bed, which is where he would lay. So, he was trying to get in bed, and Sirius wouldn't let him. And he kept growling and growling and growling. And I kind of kept my hand on him because I wasn't going to let him hurt Sirius. If he got mad and tried to push him off or nothing. And I did kind of pat over here a couple of times. Come on, Sirius. Come over here by me. And he would not. So, I kind of got a giggle out of it, to honestly tell you the truth. And when I told Sean, he... He laughed too. And I've been kind of going over my videos over the months. And I kind of really started after my gastric sleeve. It's been going on a little bit longer. But then I didn't do any for a while. And I have noticed the difference in weight loss over the time of the, um, um, you know, process. So, I could see a lot of different weight during the time period. And, um, it's been, it's been fun. I wish my mom was here to see it all. And, uh, I think she'd be proud. My daughter came over yesterday and they stayed quite a while, which really helped. So, I think that's what's kind of helped for today. And she ended up help straighten my pantry because it was a mess. Um, I'm going to put a bar stool in there against the wall. But the coffee uh, maker was on. And it's an island, so we've moved it out into the um, center of the kitchen. The center of the, ki the kitchen is not that big, but it's big enough for an island, and I've always wanted one. And it has a built-in cutting board. And mom had the tea and coffee pot on it. But I have um, moved the coffee pot. I have stuck the um, tea, tea maker on the shelves until I absolutely need it. I need to get the freezer and the refrigerator freezer cleaned out so I can um, put the ice maker back in. But I'm really wanting to get an ice maker that you set on the counter and make your ice. So I need to kind of look up those and see um, what, what they require. I'm assuming maybe you dump some water in it and they make ice cubes. And I'm a really big ice fiend fiend. I love a lot of ice. Used to not, but I do now. So, um, I want to try that. I'm going to start looking on Cricut for, um, Disney, um, on YouTube. On Disney-inspired t-shirts for me and, like, all the kids. I'm calling Natalie a kid, too. Because she is my kid. She likes it or not. So, I got a little bit more to pay on the Disney trip. I had it paid off, but included them, added for more. So, I will probably be going to Sam's and hitting Jeff up so for um, Sam's um, Walmart gift cards. Because if you didn't know, you can get them cheaper. Um, because... You get more for the money. They reduce the price, but you get a certain denomination on the tickets. So, I think I'm going to do that. And every holiday and everything, I'm going to try to get him to give me tickets. And every payday. Won't hurt. And I got to start thinking about Christmas. I do have things over there in that box that I need to go through. And I may go through them tomorrow and see what all I have purchased. Um, Natalie wanted the tie-dye stuff. Um, I didn't give it to her because I need to see what all I have. But I think I'm going to go ahead and buy them some tie-dye since they like tie-dye. I really need to put makeup on, but I really am pleased with the skincare that I have been using. Um, the eyes are not near as black as they have been. So, I am going to definitely, I do have another BoxyCharm coming, even though I canceled them. So, hopefully, it'll have some in it. 
If not, I'm going to keep subscribing if I have to subscribe with my own money. And I think I'm going to resubscribe to Frame, Frame by Sarah in Wichita Falls because I love the stuff and it's clothes and I can always use more clothes. And um, I think I'm in a size 12 now. Some may be a 14 because I had a pair of shorts on tonight. And I honestly don't know if I looked at the size. I went in there and told Char Sean to look and see if he could see a size and he couldn't. And I don't know if I ever did. But I know one size is a 12. So maybe I can wear a 12 now. I'm not sure what I'm going to make for dinner tomorrow. Um, I had Natalie go through the freezer and get some stuff. So I know she got some barbecue chicken and some ribs. My stomach just seemed to can't handle the ribs anymore. So, I don't know. You know, I might make some pancakes, some breakfast, but I threw away some bacon. Because I'd make some baked beans the other night. And... They just weren't quite up to stuff. And I think the bacon may have been outdated. Honestly, tell the truth. I told nobody to eat them. Just toss them out. So I ended up tossing them out. And uh, everything. So. Let's see. What else could we talk about? Um, Natalie said she would start coming over more often. She told me to come over to her house. Um, I don't know if I told you. I may have told you during this. We decided to make tamales for Christmas. And um, cookies. Which we've made cookies and candy before. So we may do that. It was really fun. And um, may do that. Do some activities for the kids. Um that's really fun. And the town does up all Christmas lights all over town. So I may um, go see those. And um, there are some cities around. Well, they're kind of small towns, but you could get from cities, I guess. And um, may go to those. Natalie is insisting that I get out some. So, I think I may um, get Sean up in the morning and go, um, you know, walking, get out of the house. She says I need um, vitamin D and the sunlight to help get out of the depression. And tonight is the first night I've gotten out and I don't know how long. And I was really proud of myself for being able to drive. Um, really wish Sean would do some driving. He's 16. He needs to learn. And he does pretty good. But he, um, he, he's nervous. And, um, I just, I just want him to be able to drive. Especially if I can't. But I, I think I'm doing okay. I don't know if I should get up and do some more things. I'd asked him to clean up the living room, and I know he didn't. So I may get up in the morning and clean the living room and have him wash clothes. Need clothes washed. I have a ton of clothes, and I know they're in the dirty clothes. So I need him to really do the clothes. And I may straighten my hair tomorrow. To kind of feel decent about myself. And try to focus on life. Um, see if John. I'm um, done. See if Jeff wants to plan. A, um, maybe a camping trip. Um, my ex-husband always said. Not Billy. But Levi. Always suggest, said that I was not happy. Unless I was planning something. And maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to plan things. Um, Natty had mentioned maybe going on a cruise. And um, I may think about that. She and Sean and 
the boys and maybe Philip, which is her husband. I really don't want to take Jeff because I really do not want to sleep in the same bed with him. He actually, I think a while back, broke my rib. Every once in a while it aches, but it hurts so bad for weeks. And I want nothing to do with that. I know it's bad, you know, not having a relationship with your husband. But I am one that can't act like I have feelings for people that I don't. And everybody is like, just act like you do. And I just possibly cannot do that. I want a soulmate. I want somebody that can do do the things that I like to do and loves me no matter what, even though I think he does. I have to feel the same way. And in order for me to be in a relationship, the first thing is there has to be an attraction and a um, a spark and I just do not feel that way I have tried my best and I don't like people making me feel sick and I don't like people talking about stupid shit I do not like a man with a whiny voice and Sean is like telling him to do voice exercises and Natalie said just tell him to quit with the whiny voice I don't know if it's the fact that he is the youngest of four or not but Natalie did ask us to get a water Castaway Cope water park um membership and in her neighborhood there's a private park where grandparents go free and nannies and Sean would get in for seven bucks and it's supposed to be like a big pool so I'm thinking about going to that um and I'm thinking about for the Disney trip taking food for some night, order pizzas, and eating at a few of our favorite restaurants because I love Disney food. And like I said, Liberty Tree Tavern, um, Liberty Tree Tavern, what is the other one? It's Casey's Corner. I love it. I know it's only a fast food restaurant, but I really love Casey's Corner. And, um, Liberty Tavern, Casey's Corner. I know there was one other place. Crystal Palace is a bust. I absolutely despise Crystal Palace. But I do love the characters. Sean truly enjoyed the characters the first time. And, um, I really liked those two places. And Cape May open back, and it is at a resort, so I wouldn't mind trying Cape May's. And I'm really hoping the dining plan is back. Um, for the most part, now and Ohana's, I love, love, love Ohana's. So I'm hoping the dining plan is back. I would really like to try um, Villa No P. Napolo, whatever, pizza restaurant. Really wanted to try that. It's not at Magic Kingdom, but I really want to try that. I wonder if this says at Epcot or um, Hollywood Studios. I don't have my app pulled up to look, but it is, I, it is supposed to be delicious. And that would be a cheap restaurant for us all. But um, absolutely love Disney World. My favorite favorite place on earth the only other place I would really like to go 
is New England. I've always wanted to go there. Um, so those are kind of on my bucket list. I will do everything I have to do to save to go to these places. Don't know if Jeff wants to go, but I want to go. And I'm not against going on a solo trip. Even though I've always been shy, I want to live my life. I want to live a long, healthy life. I want to raise Sean. I don't care. I've always had the expectation that I am going to live in my hundreds. My great biological grandfather did. And he had medical issues. So I really want to go to these places. And um, some state parks. I would like to go camping up some state parks. So um, give me an idea in your comments on where you would like to go. And what you think of this video. And I'd really appreciate it if y'all would like and comment and share and do all those great things to help my video grow. I do have 72 subscribers now, which is really interesting and exciting and great people. I love the comments. I don't always see them on my iPhone, but when I look at my laptop, I see them more often so i'll have to look and reply to your videos because i liked it that and it makes me so humble because people who cared about my mom and would pray about my mom was spectacular i just loved that and continue prayers for our family we would really appreciate it and um i have some cousin cousins helping me cope but, you know, it's hard to because I withdraw when I uh, mourn. It's just one of those things. So, I guess I'll let you go. It's been a 42-minute video. But I hope you really watch it and get an idea of how I feel. I am going to try to do some um, more cooking videos. Y'all seem to really like the clips. So I may do some more of those, at least clips of the cooking, because a lot of the stuff y'all know. I don't see any reason with boring you with the entire video. I'm sorry, I got my covers up. Um, because you, you pretty much know what to do. Do everything to your taste. That's the big key. And I haven't done anything for, um, I prefer the homeless, but anybody in need of food, I will give it out. So I usually put an ad on the trading post and, um, if I have extra meals, I hand it out, but I haven't done it in a while because I've kind of felt down. So maybe this week I will do some meals or the homeless, if I have anything left, I don't know why I have anything left, because I gave quite a bit to Nat, um, but we'll see what we can do, but I do really appreciate y'all watching, and, um, if you would like to share and subscribe, comment, hit the little bell notification to know when new videos are up, I would really appreciate it. I do have a boxy charm that's coming, and I will um, show y'all what's in there. Uh, I don't know. I think Jeff is wanting to go to Sam's um, this weekend. I don't know. I know we need some top paper and some stuff, but I don't know. He ended up getting new um, insulin medication which I told him he needed because he's gained so much weight he does not eat healthy and um he looks really bad he kind of looks really old um he's younger than me but he looks quite a bit older than me so we'll see um Sean's doing great he didn't do school today because he's been very anxious. So, um, I want him to really start writing, writing on his paper 
and give me an idea of a screenplay. Um, so we may start that in depth Monday and you really get working. I really need to clean up the living room because that's where I want to work. And it's, I don't even put the stuff in there. I may have a little plate, which I don't think I do. I think I put it up because Sirius ate it while I was asleep today. So, we will see. And I need a new refrigerator freezer. One for drinks and one for extra freezer space. I have a refrigerator freezer, which I hate. And I have a deep freeze, and I hate. But I really want a stand-up freezer. I'd really rather a stand-up freezer than a refrigerator freezer. Because I could just put the drinks in the refrigerator freezer and put everything else in the freezer and the lunch meats in the refrigerator because I have been dying for sandwiches and salads. So that is my video for tonight. Again, I'm sorry for keeping y'all so long and I would really appreciate if y'all would share, like, and subscribe to my videos and give it a thumbs up if you like the contents. And I know I'm probably boring you to death, but this is what is on my mind tonight. So I would appreciate y'all watching and y'all have a good night slash morning. Goodbye.